what you know about rolling down in the Yo, what you know about Pokemon, but in real life? Imagine seeing like a Charmander, for example. It's pretty much like a Salamander that breathes fire. What would you do if you saw that in real life and started breathing fire? That, that, that'd be, that'd be kind of a little bit sus. But anyways, subscribe for the YouTube algorithm and let's get a whopping three likes on this video. Don't disappoint me. Three likes. Yo, what's going on here? Some kind of like terrarium or what, what's... Oh, yo, that's so sick, bro. That looks so legit, actually. That's, that's an Onyx. But in real life. So if you ever saw that rock thing in Pokemon, you know, the Onyx, this is exactly what it looked like in real life. It's even got the moss on it, super detailed. The eyes are kind of like bugging me out a little bit. But what do we got? A Licky Tongue. Dude, what? Yo, I could totally see this being like a useful Pokemon. Just casually licking your envelopes or anything you got licked. Ew. Ugh. Oh, uh, that'd be kind of nasty. What if he swallows you by accident? Then what are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? Call the cops? Yo, I'm inside of a licking tongue's stomach, bro. Is that a Pikachu? No! Comment down below, cutest Pokemon right now. Dude, Pikachu by far the cutest. Is that how a Ditto is made? Scientists have discovered how to make a Ditto. Look how cute the Ditto is, though. But be careful, it transforms into anything you want it to. Dude, the, the, the Dr. Pikachu is so cute. That's adorable. I would love to have, honestly, like an actual Pikachu in real life. That'd be the cutest pet ever, for real. Look at the Pikachu. Look at it, bro. For all my Pokemon fans, oh, oh, except that part. When he zaps you, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm out of here. Yo, call me later, okay? It's so beautiful and so cute. But don't forget, it's literally a rat that zaps you with electricity. It looks super cute. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. It's cute and all. Like, having a Mew as a Pokemon would be also pretty cool because it's like a flying, flying rat. You know, there's a lot of rats in Pokemon, I guess. Makes sense. <laughs> Dude, the Glaceon. Whoa! Are we just going to ignore the fact that he just froze the kitty cat? Bro, that, that Glaceon just froze the cat. Yo, that poor cat. Okay, maybe this is exactly why we shouldn't have Pokemon in real life because this, this could kind of happen. Charmeleon, yes. Yeah, no Charmeleon. Don't be eating some random stuff from the fridge. What are you doing, bro? It's not healthy. Hey, put him down. Dude, he's about to like poop out like a fireball and burn the house down. <laughs> the Pikachu dude. That poor Pikachu just wants to go trick or treating. He has one dream. Trick or treat. Oh, he doesn't have any attention. Would you trick or treat with him? Oh yeah, let's go, bro. Yeah, I'm a champ, bro. What's goody? I can see these being a thing. Just the champs working out in the gym. Homie be lifting things like it's nothing, bro. Look at him. Yo, he makes you look small. I'm just saying. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a Bulbasaur, but uh, that's some kind of like a sketchy looking Bulbasaur. Yo, Mario. What? I think these are absolutely terrifying. The, the plant that it's actually based off of is already terrifying. Imagine a plant just grabbing you, eating your hand. You know what I mean? But like this, that thing will chomp on your hand and you're going to be gone. It's not a Pokemon, but it's still kind of cool. <laughs> Aw, what's happening? Ghost! <laughs> nah, bro, I'm good. I'm good. I don't like ghosts, dude. Yo, homie's like, huh, that's kind of cool. Dude, would you be my friend? kind of lonely just just saying nah i don't think i want to have a pet ghost eevee that's kind of sus <laughs> listen it ain't dinner time man we ain't having some salmon right now but why are they gonna kill the magic carp is this kind of like a little bit edgy i'm just saying like bro they got a whole magic carp here lying on the on the but like that's kind of how it'd be like you know they go fishing for magic carps until they turn into gyarados and they get really mad at you but still which sort of pokemon would you have as a pet companion in real life you know what i mean or if you went on your own pokemon journey you know, I wouldn't be surprised that in the future they're going to have like a Pokemon VR where you can literally just live in the Pokemon world. I could totally see that happening, but what would you be your starter? I think Bulbasaur is definitely really cute. Charm Charmander would be kind of sus just because it can burn the house down. And Squirtle would be kind of cool. It can literally bathe you. What? Ne 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 never mind. Yo, we gotta change it up a little bit. So I'm gonna show y'all pictures of the actual Pokemon and then the real life version. And you let me know if it's a pretty good example. Just make sure to comment down below your favorite timestamp. First, we have a Pikachu, all right? So that, as you can see, a Pikachu is technically a rat, but, or a mouse, but you can kind of get away with it. You know what I mean? If this is a rabbit on the right side, as you can see, they painted the rabbit, they've added the little cheek parts, and of course, the distinguished, um, you know, the, the ears and the lines, and you get the point. Well, yeah, I think it's a pretty good example of a Pikachu, you know? Except he doesn't have a tail, so I don't know about that but what do you guys think what would be like a better representation of a pikachu in real life a mouse a rat i don't know that looks pretty interesting so this is a victor bell uh i think that's what it's called it kind of makes sense for some reason it looks like a snake on the right side mixed in with something else i don't know what's happening honestly yo that's legit so i would say that's a skitty and on the right side is a, it's just pretty much like a pink cat you know what i mean with a custom tail put on so i think it's pretty accurate that's not bad at all i really couldn't think of like what else it could be all right that's that's actually perfect look you got a magnemite and then the right side is 
like an actual magnemite. It's just pretty much two magnets, three screws, and then like a magnetic ball with an eye on it. So it makes kind of sense. You could even slap like one of those like googly eyes on it. <laughs> It'd be super cute. And then just levitate it. I can definitely see that being a thing. Ooh, this is legit. So a caterpie on the right side, you got a caterpillar. Pretty self-explanatory. I want to see someone actually try to recreate like a real life version of a Pokemon. That'd be really, really interesting. So we got a Rapidash. It's just pretty much a unicorn on fire. Legit. A horse with a unicorn, you know, horn and fire. Ooh, a primate. I can see that being a thing, but here's the thing though. On the right side, it looks a little weird. It looks like a cat's face with a pig nostril. All right, and then you got weird hands with cuffs on them. I don't know. They could have done this kind of different. I, I don't know what it could be. It may be like a can't be a kangaroo. It wouldn't make any sense. Just a fluffy pig. Let's just do a fluffy pig ball. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they just added like shaved hands. Gorgeous, phenomenal. <laughs> what about this one? A geo dude? I can see that being a thing. I don't know about the arms. I'm not sure how they would move around, but. It you know, they can definitely do a better Geodude version of this Pokemon. Okay, this is kind of easy, man. Like, look, you got a Butterfree. Obviously, it's going to be a Butterfly. That's pretty much purple. They can even probably find a Butterfly out there in the world that looks a little bit like this. But on the right side, it's definitely uh, very... They just, they just painted on the legs. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, this is it. Oh, yeah. If we ever had a giant tortoise with literally water cannons or, like, rocket launchers, that would be a prime example. Has, like, a little feature where, like, the shell lifts up and then, boom, the cannons come out. The face, though, do look a little bit small for sure sure but hey it's just a giant turtle that's sus that is kind of sus but that is a uh vile plume you know i think that's a pretty good example oh 100 an oddish it's literally just an onion or yeah i guess an onion <laughs> with the eyes on it it reminds me of that video game called pikmin if y'all have heard about that oh 100 bro a hound doom in real life would just be a doberman yeah with a pretty cool looking costume and horns i can definitely see it an evil doberman for sure oh a snake that's so simple and ekans is a snake backwards which is also a cobra there you go an Arcanine. Okay, this is a Growlithe, actually. On the right side, it looks more like an Arcanine. But I can see that happening. A Growlithe is pretty much a wolf with, like, a custom texture. Just, like, you know, paint his whole entire coat. And you got yourself an Arcanine or a Growlithe. But it can't catch on fire, obviously. Dude, what? You know what? I see it. A bell sprout. Yeah, we got a terrified to see that thing on the in real life. But it is what it is. Dude, an Umbreon. Yes, an Umbreon is a black cat with just random yellow on it. You know what I mean? Yellow circles. It's about it. Pretty simple. Those ears do look a little bit interesting. Oh, another Caterpie. That's a better example on the right side, I feel like. Yo, prove me wrong. There is nothing cuter than a Diglett in real life. <gasps> Look how adorable. Look at the face. You just want to, like, pop the nose. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. You know what I mean? That is so adorable, dude. It's pretty much like a, uh, a groundhog. You know what I mean? A little bit like a groundhog. I can totally see it. 100%. Oh, a Pikachu. Oh, yes. I didn't even think about that. I, I think of a Pikachu being like a rat, but this is also pretty cool. A, a small cat. Yeah, I can definitely see it too. You know what I mean? That, that definitely looks like a Pikachu. 100%. No, thank you. I'm good. I do not want to see no bee drill in real life. That, that's sus, bro. That thing looks horrifying. It's going to ruin your day. But a Charmander is pretty much a salamander while the tail is on fire. I can see that definitely being a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, a Bulbasaur. What? What? A Bulbasaur is a frog or a toad with a... What's that on the back? Cabbage on the back. Yes, a cabbage. <laughs> exactly, a cabbage. <laughs> All right, I can see that. A snail for a snail. It makes sense, makes sense. Oh, yes. 100%, bro. This this is like a perfect example, all right? You got a rat, and then you got a... I don't know why that rat looks like that. that that's, that's a weird looking rat. Just just have a mouse on it, so your mouse will do it too. Oh, no way, yo. Yes, bro. Nidoran is definitely a, uh, a rabbit with spots. Oh, yeah. That's a prime example. The ears are a little bit different, though. Okay, we got a Mudkip. A Mudkip is an Axolot. Yo, you know what? I see it. 100% I see it. Look at that. Mudkip, Axolot. Yeah, that's pretty good. Solid. Make the, make the Axolot blue and you'll be good. You can actually get blue Axolots, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and Raichu is a kangaroo? Is that a kangaroo? Oh, what is that? I think that's a kangaroo, pretty much. It kind of reminds me of a, like a giant, thick mouse. You know what I mean? Oh, what about a Pidgey? A Pidgey? This, this looks identical. This is literally identical right here. A bird and another bird. Yo, how about a nine tails? It's a giant fox with a bunch of tails. Pretty good at representation. Or how about a mag cargo? It's a snail on fire with just like a lava shell on the back. It's it's a pretty hot snail. I'm just saying. But a mew? Mmm, mmm. No, no, thank you. No, 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 no. I, I can't, I can't unsee that. It's so accurate, a hairless cat, but I just can't unsee it. No, man, I don't know. <laughs> it's just so accurate, though. Ooh, oh, I'm not a big fan. It's like the same thing. I'm trying to catch a Charizard. Okay. What's this dude looking for? Like a real life Pokemon? Is this going down right now? My dude's like, yo, 
Where the, where the Pokemon at? Are you playing Pokemon Go? Oh, no. He's not playing Pokemon Go. He's playing like a real-life Pokemon or something. What is that? We're in its habitat. That's a human in a Pikachu costume. Who's that Pokemon? What? What's going on, bro? <laughs> it's Pikachu. <laughs> Everybody, it's a dude in a Pikachu costume. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Click this video right here, and I'll see y'all tomorrow with a brand new one.